I'm a guide in a perfect communistic city called Nova Huta, and you have my full permission to show this material all over the world. I'd like to be famous. <laughs> but not too famous. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I am Maciek, nice to meet you. Maciek? Maciek, typical Polish name, there's no translation. Yeah, okay. Sometimes people ask me, is your name really magic? I answer, no, my tours are magic in this car. The car this is car. magic, wow. It's a Trabant. It's a good example of what really common was. Because it's supposed to be a very cheap car for the whole family. Can so, we all fit in? No, we can try, you know. <laughs> Probably you can fit like a 10, 15 students inside. What engine is this? It's a two-stroke engine. What's so, a two-stroke engine? Engine more like uh, for a lawnmower or motorbike. Duroplast is German invention. So car is very elastic and very light. Well, are you ready for a ride? Ready to right. eat, play, love. So I hope in case of accident it was just bounce back from other car, you know? How much does this car cost? In a quite good condition, it probably costs about at least 1,000 euros. I want Nowadays, to buy one. According to your boss, communism is perfect. That's right. During communism, there was no place for individuality, creativity, uh, no place for freedom. You must have a cool boss. Yeah, he's pretty okay. <laughs> and he's a capitalist, right, your boss? Oh, for sure, yeah. he is, yeah. <laughs> After three partitions in 18th century, there was no Poland on the map uh, till end of First World War, till 1918. Uh, we were part of Russia, Prussia and Austria-Hungary, and Krakow was part of Austria-Hungary. Later, we gained independence in 1918 for these 20 years between World Wars. In 1939, we were attacked by Nazis, then very quickly by Soviets from other side. I'll give you a short story about Nova Huta. New steelworks, that's what it means. Nova means new, and Huta means steelworks. Also, you can say Huta of glass, Huta of copper, but here it's steelworks. It was built after Second World War as Stalin's gift, symbol of uh, Polish Russian friendship. Well, Stalin wanted to build somewhere in Poland a huge, perfect communistic city, just for workers, just for working class. They chose this location in 47 and started building Nova Huta two years later, in 49. Why here? First reason, let's say strategic reason, uh, because coal for manufacturing steel here was coming from west, from Silesia, heavy industrial area in Poland. And iron ore was coming from east, from Ukraine. Also there was a source of water like Vistula River, so that was the main reason. After the war, Krakow was a very strong anti-communistic center, very traditional city, uh, full of Catholic churches and Catholics. Communists wanted to build something like younger, more beautiful sister of Krakow, so people could forget about this bourgeois city. But before they started building it, it was only a farmland here, with few old, one of the richest villages in this part of Poland. Communistic propaganda created a totally different image of this place, that people were living here in the poverty, surrounded by black forests, living almost like monkeys. What's funny, at the beginning they wanted to give this city a different name, name of one of the villages, but it's Mogiwa. And Mogiwa means a grave, a burial site, so it's not a nice name for perfect domestic city. Nova Huta was built as a godless city, city without any churches. It's supposed to be a first godless city built from a scratch in Europe. Because religion for communists was just a stupid fantasy. Magic here was seven when communism fell apart and he's given us the capitalist tour. <laughs> That's right. Behind us, you can see main entrance to the factory, to the steelworks. Huge factory, it's hard to imagine, but there is a 1,000 hectares area behind the fence. It's about 2,500 acres, so quite a lot. So the communists built this? Yes, communists built yeah. it. Here you can see a huge sign telling us it's Tadeusz Sędzimir Steelworks. Until 1990, it was Lenin Steelworks. Now it's a private property. On both sides you can see administration building, Vatican building, no church here, but two buildings more beautiful than Vatican itself, another slap in Catholic's face. 
uh, two administration buildings, factory uses only the one on the left for their offices and the one on the right is for rental. Deutsche Bank is there. Germans started taking over again quietly. Do you remember when the wall came down in Berlin and we were all so euphoric? It started here. It started in Poland. Being here with all these old things, it's retro. It's kind of really super cool, but forgetting just the design end of antiques and retro things, it's, it reminds us how much we take everything for granted. In the 80s, they didn't even have toilet paper. You know, you had to go and cut up newspapers. There was no flour, there was no sugar, there was no meat. You stood in line for everything. And now we get upset because our gadget isn't fast enough. <laughs> This is nearly standard size apartment in Nova Huta, about nearly 70 square meters. Three rooms apartment, but standard size was about 55 square meters, two rooms apartment. Apartments were given for free, high standard apartments with wooden floors, central heating. I told you, city built to show off. Problem was that people usually had the same stuff at home. In this apartment, also in this room, you have uh, the whole collection of empty beer cans. Colorful cans. Uh, why kids were collecting such things? Because um, these were symbols of Western world. It was almost impossible to get it anywhere at the shop in Poland. In Poland, there was only one source of Western products. The whole chain of Pavek shops. They were full of best quality Polish products and also Western stuff. Uh, like uh, Levi's jeans, uh, some sweets, Bounty Mars sneakers, you could buy their Lego bricks, Barbie dolls, Matchbox toys cars, everything, Western drinks, alcohol, like Fanta or Coca-Cola. There was only one tiny problem, you could pay there with dollars. Another paradox of communism, because Poles were not allowed to possess dollars. Look at this vacuum cleaner, it has a very unique shape shape of a bomb or, or, or a bullet or a rocket. Uh, why? Because they used uh, the same form at the factory in Russia for manufacturing uh, bombs and vacuum cleaners. Explanation is very simple. It was just too expensive to create brand new production line. That's why you use the same form. Great vacuum cleaner for a wife to throw at lazy, lazy husband, don't you think? <laughs> now we all have smartphones in our pockets, uh, very powerful uh, electronic devices. But you know, years ago people were using things like this, for, for example, like old uh, typewriters. Now it's a different story. We all have computers. I have to I have to press the road. I'd like to give you something tasty to complete the process of brainwashing. Shot of cherry vodka, something smooth, tasty. Whoa! <laughs> I love Poland. <laughs> Might need some tension to relax me, I'm too busy.